the heads tonight. Teenage boy roasts himself in sacrifice to Chris Kelly. Hesseltine fading fast. And headmaster suspended for using big face child as satellite dish. This is the news. This is the news. Coming up, why can't I be king, bleeds Patton. What is unreasonable about that proposal? And Mad Lord says it's not too late for Freddie Mercury. I'd recommend she went to her local benefits agency office, sought advice there, and I'm sure she'd find, as likely as not, by getting hold of family credit, she might find herself considerably better off. Time now for the weather with Sylvester Stewart. Starting in the southeast, where it should be dull and drizzly in the morning, a bit like waking up next to a corpse. In Wales, it should start off nice, but bits of unpleasant old weather should drift back by the afternoon and the rain will bitch down. Things should improve in the northeast and the southwest, which should collide towards mid afternoon, and there'll be loud thunderstorms later in the evening, about the volume of a thin Lizzie concert. In summary, then, ah. And that's all the weather. Wise words there from Sylvester Stewart. Time now for sport with Alan Partridge. Alan, you're a bit of a word man, aren't you? Um, I certainly am, like words. Uh, where would we be without them? Help you when you're having a chat. Yeah, do, they, do you feel them as they come out? Yep, certainly do. What do they feel like, then? Yeah, I don't know, something like that. Do long words feel different from short ones? Yeah, yeah. What about significant words? What do they feel like? Alan. What? What do significant words feel like as they come out? Well, I don't know. Do they feel different? Yes, yes. I'm Alan Partridge. Buttress is a significant yes. word, isn't it? Yeah. This is Sports Desk. Football. The Liverpool versus Tanners match ended last night with defeat for the Tanners. I visited their dressing room. The atmosphere here hangs heavy like a big smell. The smell of men together, the smell of cat's musk. Bob Marino, you missed the penalty. Why? Yeah, Alan, um, it was a bad one. It took the top of my boot. It was all over in an instant. Um, just you to... look really stupid. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't a good performance. I'm going to try and take a shower now. Right. Run on to the rest of the Thank time. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, are you, you going to wash away the stain of defeat? Um, yeah. Get, get clean now and look on to the next start again in the rest of the season. Yeah, but when, when you go home with your, uh, when you go home with your, you get to bed with your wife tonight, you watch the other VHS, you're going to sleep with her, she sees a stain on your body and she says, Bob, remove the stain. Will you remove it? On to show jumping, and I managed to catch up with the Australian dazzler Katrina Parfit after this morning's big horse event. Katrina, um, quick word, let me say, you look fantastic on a horse. Thank you very much. Um, you're like the Lone Ranger on Tonto. Oh. How do you feel? Well, I feel disappointed. I didn't quite make it this time, but... You know, that's the way it goes. But it, I was personally gutted because I love the, those little touches you add, the way yeah. you turn, smile at the judge. Well. A little wave, a little wink. It doesn't Marvelous. go on looks and smiles. It goes on a lot of skill and discipline. Now. I'm sure it does, but let me tell you, if I'd have been a judge, I would have been a complete mess. <laughs> right. What about the horse? How, how's that handling? Uh, well, Sir Danzig wasn't doing too well. He shied away from the water jump, and that's when I really began to lose it. Yeah, well, let me tell um, you, if you have any more problems with him, you could ride me around the paddock. Thank you. Uh, anyway, I think that next year we'll, I'll have better luck. When, when you, when you, how do you ride a horse? How do I ride? How do you ride a horse? Well, I've been riding since the age of about five. I don't think it's anything you can learn. I think it's something that's in the blood. It's a Danzig. He's my horse, yeah. yeah. And I shall be back next year and I shall win on him. You sell him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Katrina Parfit, a lady. Ultra News.
Just time for a quick look at tomorrow's headlines. Today, you could blow notes across the holes in his head, says Sinatra Doc. The Herald Tribune go with boiled dog could do maths, claims experimenter. The European, elastic song strangles Hucknall. The Daily Telegraph and other broadsheets feature tabs here down the side for ease of turning the pages. And uh, the Independent go with Portillo's face felt like guts, says girl. That's it, just to let you know that police are still looking for the actor Burt Reynolds after he stole a dodgem and drove it out of a fairground in Islington. The 59-year-old American eluded capture after a low-speed car chase and was last seen heading north on the M11 near Saffron Walden. That's it. Good night.